right. Oh. Traveling to Realm. You just hear the sound of a bus starting up. <laughs> Oh no, on the way to Santa Monica, the bus was overrun with zombies. Uh, you know, I was thinking how we, we came up with all that amazing Dead Island 2 lore, like the San Andreas fault cracked and like we drifted off and that's why we're on an island. And then it's just like, it. there was just none of that. Just none of that. Yeah. Yeah. They had a lot of, they had a lot to work with as well because they kept talking about, oh, watch out for the death pits and stuff, which... I thought was going to be holes that opened up in the ground due to the seismic activity filled with the dead, but mm. no, no, we had zombies in the sewer. The end, <laughs> basically. <laughs> yeah, they they set up some characters, then right at the end. That's not what I want my city to be called. Collected a. I've selected for my race to look like a bunch of goblins that are yellow. I call them the peepee -pee goblins. Don't... Oh my, my city is... You can change the name. You click the city and then you click on the name on the left and you can just change it to whatever you want. I found bad guys. For real? Come back. Snakes. Oh, you got snakes too. I've got I've got <laughs> storm got like scale serpents. No, I didn't snake world. <laughs> Engage Snake Town, USA. Spent all my gold instantly. <coughs> Excuse me. Really? Stupid Pike Man died instantly. Who were you? Ow. I fought snakes, and in the auto combat, I guess you got bit. I don't know. Fucking idiot. <laughs> I said, stay away from the snakes! Joey! Joey! <laughs> we should have listened! The sucky thing is, my graphics card seems to be behaving now. Uh, stream going more! Yeah, I think I will. This is where I click. Click go live and it goes. <laughs> I'm sorry, it goes what? Because you cut out, which made me think my computer was dying. Yeah, all I heard was you click short stream, but it goes, and that's all I got. That's that's literally all I got. Oh. Wow. Who yeah, he's, looking, he's looking for your menu order. Like the Szechuan. Oh, bro, you going for the tasty shit? What happens if I lose it? No, I don't. Yeah. You don't win it. I don't know. Now, the thing about it is, there's usually a thing... <clears throat> that one? Let's talk cookies. Y you want me to accept cookies again? You're gonna do this every time? Wow, the card immediately started ramping up the second I launched ABS. Alright, well, that's that, that answers my question then. We're not doing that today. Oh, do it! Nah, it's not. I'm Oops. not dealing with that. Obs for skate. Right. 
We need to build another pikeman because the other one got bitten by a freaking snake. <laughs> Imbecile. Like, oh, I haven't put. Guy. Day three dawns. Everyone has died to snake bites. Yeah. Oh, oh there's someone. loads of bad guys. They're not even. They look like um. Well. Squirtle? Yeah, they're like plants, you know, like the a bulbasaur. Yeah, I mean, you're close. I mean, they're literally like Squirtle one of the other starting Pokemon, so you're pretty much there. Bulbasaur. Uh, does he? <laughs> I don't need to know about that. <laughs> okay, we're not going over there because there's some kind of evil Bulbasaur snake thing here. <laughs> <laughs> there's a bubble fat. Oh, oh damn. damn! Damn! I've been, I've been bitten. Wins. I can't Dark make it back wins. to the city. <laughs> <laughs> one pikeman limps back. Everyone got eaten by one snake. <laughs> the world's fattest snake that now comes in is next to the fucking city, just menacing. It's like something. 107 hours. Like you got you stuck in a mountain. Get Dave Franco. Battle. You can tell whether or not it's going to be risky by mousing over it before you go in. Yeah, I might. Nothing. Gind Camp. Brigante. I've got some good resources around my city for the first time in playing this game. Like, normally when I start off, I have, like, one resource near my city, and the rest I've just got to fucking f fight through. Oh, I think I lo loads of my... They didn't make it. New development skill available. Ooh, I'll take that. I might have had for a dollar. Alright, new pikeman has been born over the course of four turns, raised to an adult, taught how to use a pike, probably about to die to a snake in the next turn. <laughs> I hope he fucking doesn't, that'd be so annoying. One turn to cast a spell. I like to believe that your guy's just sitting there chanting for 24 hours. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Good. Want to bet? We get an interdimensional Age of Wonders crabs. More work. How long till another person's born? Three years. Yeah. Oh yeah, we love production. Well, yeah, that would be. We don't want spoilers on what what the races are. Excuse me, how are these plants so strong? I'm gonna risk it for a biscuit. A 
Okay, the pikemen lived this time. Clearly there wasn't a snake in here. What was there? Oh my god. Hey, leveled up. Um... Hundred and seventy two gold just to please these nearby guys. You son of a bitch. Every, <laughs> Every time it's you know when you win a battle it says battle won by and then it says the name of the ruler? Every time I see the name of my ruler when that happens, it makes me laugh because, uh, but that really friggin' ADHD part of me wants to just read out loud what I'm laughing at. But yeah, then that'll yeah. be a spoiler. Me too. <laughs> so every time I'm laughing and then be like, oh, don't say why. <laughs> don't exactly. Say why. found a city called Penisburg. I was that city. Get some decent there, that wasn't good. Oh, I found Yeah, I'm getting... Oh, that if if somebody if one of us is in the middle of concluding a battle, the other person gets frozen for a second, I think, and so that's why it does that. Same. Oh, I've got I've got a bunch of brigand camps around me. That's not good news. Boosted. You get any booster shot for your uh, COVID vaccine? Oh, <laughs> don't say that. Man, they're bringing out COVID-20 next week. Don't say that. <laughs> It'll fucking put a thing under the video. So find out really. Oh, really? Probably, who knows? CDC what will come happened? in my house and inject in me Tiananmen 20 times. Square. <laughs> <laughs> Does that mean if we keep talking about winning lottery numbers, it will just say, find out more about winning lottery numbers? And we can be like, oh, yeah, gamble, gamble responsibly. Eight, oh, shit, you're right. 500. Pick it. This is something I've actually noticed about YouTube. Um, lately, because me and Kez will watch it on the telly. Like, yeah, I do. Dinner it. and stuff, so yeah. And, like, um, most of the ads that pop... Because you know how they say, oh, the ads are targeted. I have all that turned off on all of my accounts, on everything. Like, I don't have personalized ads on, on anything. But, like, the ads are always for gambling? It's like YouTube just defaults to giving you ads for gambling websites. Or um, stock, like, buying stocks, like, plus 500 and stuff. And it's just, like... What our audience is this targeting? Like, people who are really bad with their money <laughs> want to lose all their money and then hope to invest and not lose any more. I don't know. It's just not, um... I just think it's really bad, because like, you can't have adverts anymore. Remember when, like, we were kids and there was adverts of people, like, actually Smoking, enjoying a cigarette? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Like, oh, this cigarette is so freaking <laughs> good. Mm. And, like, they banned all of that. Rightly so. Rightly so. They banned it. Same with alcohol. Like, you're not allowed to show people like you know enjoying the alcohol to a ridiculous aspect but they can just they can still be like oh yeah by the way gambling ruins like thousands of lives a year like people get homeless because of it they, they you know but don't worry enjoy it here's here's some gambling ads for you Ooh, nice 
nice rewards. Um, you know, it said the name of my city there and uh, gave away. Ah. <laughs> Um, what were we? Is it that time already? What? Uh, what? Ads. <laughs> Why can't I build one of those? Requires one conduit. I ain't never gonna fit a conduit in this place. No room. In this womb. I will take that, actually. Negotiation succeeded. Enter. I said enter. Oh, there it goes. Oh. Boy, I just talk shit and then burp. <laughs> you have to have a very high IQ to understand me. I'm actually Rick and Morty. Oh, I see. Now, just like Justin Roiland, I'm going to start messaging this person online. <laughs> okay, you'll beat the rap, though. Wait, did he? Yeah, yeah. But he found not guilty of any other stuff. Yeah, but he's not doing the show, right? Uh... I thought he wasn't in the show anymore. I thought they still removed him from the show. Yeah, but I mean... They, the woman <laughs> even had to come out, or the, or the people... Well, I had to like publicly I had say, to say like, hey, uh, yeah. we didn't. To be fair, though, like the the laws in in a in a just society are innocent until proven guilty, right? And so and so, uh, you know, everyone should believe a victim. Don't get me wrong; you should always believe the victim initially. Even though... but somebody, somebody, <laughs> yeah, somebody <laughs> shouldn't be found guilty though without evidence, because otherwise. You know, everyone, we'd be living in a friggin' creed. We live in a society! I'm gonna cast a spell called, um, Death by Snake, which seems to keep <laughs> claiming my skirmishes. I fought an army of the exact same power, but it was full of those weird pig things. Army was fine. As soon as there's a snake in it, nah, nah, bro, can't be dealing with them. Boss, did, how many viewers are you? Five. All right, you settle down. Um, no, I um, I think I had a eight. Eight. A lot. I had eight views, and I think it counted four or five of them as unique views. So I think that means that somebody kept opening and closing it. But I gained a new follower as well. But I did post on Twitter that I was going live, um, and I think I do still have some leftover followers from the past, more or less, sort of, that came out of the woodwork. But um, I could I could do with not letting them down anymore. Oh my goodness, that thing is going to kill me! Oh my god, I shouldn't be here, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I've run out of move points. Oh no. I'm not gonna make it. I'm gonna get friggin' dead. Where did I get nature affinity from? I just gained some nature affinity oh, from somewhere. Nefarious Bastion. Is that you? Is the Nefarious Bastion? What? Guildmaster prefer Frogger to, Rock. Uh, prefer to play as Widowmaker rather than Bastion. I think this. Roger Rocktail. Wait. Is it Frogar Rockbreaker or Frogar Rocktail? Rocktail. Rocktail, okay. Is he a goblin? Yes. That's interesting, because I made a goblin in my single player called Frogar Rockbreaker. I think it's like, yeah. I think I think Frogar might just be a built in goblin name and I just didn't know. My minimap just wiggled to the left slightly. I don't know why. 
I really want to know why I gained nature affinity, because I don't have anything that gives that, but I gained one nature affinity. Is it these guys give me something? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe it's because I befriended this nearby race. That's so strange. Oh, harbingers. Yeah, I'm finding a lot of people. Harbingers of misfortune. Sounds like we don't want them around because they're going to be um, chaos magic, I think. Which could be problematical. Kill them. <laughs> I will end them to death. Oh, like watches. Yeah, that's what it is. How did you know? Because I remember what watches look like. <laughs> I am a fart smeller and a smart fella. Wait a minute. Can you get those monsters off my stuff, please? Can you remove them from the tile? Is there a way to get you to move them off the tile? There is no way to do that. Okay. The neighboring uh, city state, or whatever you want to call it, a uh, free city that I'm friends with, has what look like raiders, but they're not. They're just on the tile. But I've now like absorbed that region, and they're still on the tile. And so I can't actually get the resources in it. Oh my goodness, what is that? My scout just ran into an area filled with monsters because I put it on auto explore. Let the spiders go in peace. I'm trying to be a I'm trying to be nice. I'm trying to be a nice. Another province that was fucking fast, Jesus. Um, hey, sounds a little bit like Enya when it goes sail away, sail away. <laughs> Hardly knew her. <laughs> A lobby. To get ourselves some treats. Oh my goodness, there is a horned god in there. Why are there so many infestations? I'd like to know why. There oh, are infestations us. everywhere. We found North snicking to me. Where is this? Build. Okay. Really? I just got a quest. I thought I was going to have to hunt something down. I didn't read it. I just have to build three farms. But that's going to be a pain. Pick a new tome. Tome of the Inside Out Bowels. Bowels, you just. <laughs> yeah. What's wrong with you? <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Do the thumbnail of this. <laughs> I'm gonna like zoom really close in on my face and 
it and go open face and be like, he named his race what? <laughs> <laughs> and then like in little red text in the corner, <laughs> like at a jaunty angle, it says, you can't say that. And then like blue text in the top left corner, it's just like, it's like huh? I agree. <laughs> Question marks. Yeah, that's it. Policeman behind you. What's all this then? What's all this then, eh? Same person. All journalists are paid off. Uh, the, what's paid off, sorry? <laughs> the same person who does that goes, All journalists are paid off. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, though, the algorithm is just such a problem. <laughs> it's safe battle, I don't know. <laughs> Invest your Imperium. Oh, I should probably should, should, should do that. Um, really, nothing to spend it on right now. Victor. <laughs> Say what you really mean. I can't build three farms like this guy wants. I really don't think I can. I don't think I have the land. Oh no, I can... Nah, okay, I can kind of get away with it. <gasps> I know that you chose industrious as your race, Fuck social it. trait. Why did I? <laughs> Why did I have to play this game until I've autistically learned every aspect of it? That's why your graphics. Oh, uh, um, well, again, there's just a permanent like burned into the chipset. It's just this permanent little Age of Wonders look <laughs> burned in. Let me. Ironically, that's what the slave says that I have running in the wheel that powers the computer. Bless him. Bless him. I call him Lecky John because he powers the Lecky. <laughs> As if. Yeah, so I'm only paying £1,000 a month for my electric. <laughs> I'm glad we got a smart meter because that. And we are paying less with the smart meter. However, the price of electricity at the moment is just. This country's gonna just fucking go to shit, I'll tell you that. True that. Enchantment is truly a union of the We should just do what France did with their utilities, because that fucking worked. <clears throat> they they don't they don't have privately owned electricity companies. It's Oh yeah, it it's a it's a public it's a public service. It all used to be until Margaret Thank. Yeah, and she privatized it all because she's a fucking dumb bitch and then she went and died. Yeah. Not soon enough, but you know. Why'd you die, Margaret? That shells did. I just love the people that got upset when everyone like celebrated her death, and it's like when you when you realise how many lives she actually destroyed, and even through into the present day, still continues to harm. I think people have every right to be that fucking hateful towards a person, I don't know. Don't get me wrong. What? Oh my god, this- this infestation... Wait, that's not even the infestation nest, that's literally just a random thing. Oh my god, no. Where's the actual infestation? Oh my god, it's full of dragons. It's a dragon's lair. Oh my god, it's so strong, dude! When is it gonna wake up? When is it gonna wake up? Please tell me. Can you tell me when it wakes up? It will awaken in zero to three turns. That's really fucking unhelpful. <laughs> That's really unhelpful. Yeah, because they're gonna send a like a dispatcher thing out to attack me at some point. And then there will be a problem. My leader may die. A deadly death of deathness.
Why is there just a evil penguin? Dire penguin. They're like regular penguins, only dire. Same. Did you set up on auto explore? Yeah. Yeah, that's the best way to do it. I've I've found some really really decrepit looking mole people. Is his skin made of metal? Yes, they have steel skin. Okay, that's kind of strange. Oh, you're resolving a combat out there. Very good. There it'll f If you got a problem, yo, I'll solve it. Check out the hook while DJ resolves it. Oh wait, revolves it. Damn. <laughs> Vanilla ice. That's the one. Hey, why is there so many rappers? Because they're cold as ice, but they're willing to sacrifice. And that was Coolio. See. Ice tea, ice cube, vanilla ice, coolio, LL Cool J. That's quite a few. That is actually quite a few. And also, in in the song Gangsters Paradise, he does say, "Why are we so chilly?" Gangsters Paradise is warm. No, it, I did make it up. Gangsters Paradise. Paradise. It's in there too. If you were dyslexic and writing paradise. You probably wouldn't spell it that way because that's not how, that's not how dyslexia works. However. Opponents are moving for a very long time. Have you got an opponent near you that's got like a disability? Uh... He's like hobbling across the map very slowly. I was that opponent. <laughs> it's disconcerting. Um when you integrate a nearby free city if you can um you suddenly hear like a hundred people die because all of their like armies disappear off the map but they, i guess the game kills them so when you integrate the game will pause for a second then you'll just hear oh! like a hundred times like in the distance it's a bit weird it's uh yeah we sent them down boys sent them down Uh... Okay, one more turn till that place can expand. Um, build one of those. Build one of those. Get my get my people to actually read. I'm gonna build some libraries. Our people go. He actually said, let my pickles go. Guy just opens the jar and upends it, and pickles fall out into the ocean. <laughs> In the distance, an American cries for a pickle has been wasted. Rainbow clover achieved. I um, had a really disappointing game of this the other day. Um, it was the... I think it was the one where I was... Was I playing as goblins or dwarves? I can't remember. But basically, I did an underground start, right? So it was completely underground 
the whole game. And my plan was to like turtle underground and then when the time was right, come out and then just start taking over the map. And I did that. Well, no, no. I did that, right? And then carried on playing. I Ooh, uh bit someone. Oh yeah. That ain't me. Uh oh. He's gonna be crazy holy man. But anyway, I, I started expanding across the map and I played for like several turns, right? Going on for ages. And then it said, oh, um, 20 turns to score victory. And I was like, oh shit, I'm winning. And then it got to like 10 turns to score victory. And I was like, nice, nice. And then it won. It wasn't me. <laughs> the game ended and it wasn't me. It said score victory, but it actually meant another ruler is about to win from score victory. But all I saw on my screen, all that came up in the tooltip was score victory imminent. I didn't click Thank on you. it and have it tell me who. Cool. Yeah, true that. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Thank you. True. They shall nurture the crops they so eagerly asked for. Well, so help me God. Mechanics again, jeez Louise, governor. Uh, I'll take a quarry for 500. Brigand, <laughs> up yours to make you brigand. Uh, yeah, 218 gold to rush that because, like, it's going to take a very long time. On. Oh, sorry. Am I holding you up? Sorry, I was um I was looking at constructions. Just rest it on your prostate and then get a hundred text messages and just die. <laughs> and overload. Just. <laughs> I'm sorry if you're lost, but uh, he definitely cooned before he died. <laughs> that too, if you accept. <laughs> no, the camera just pans to the corpse and there's just a huge pained smile. <laughs> <laughs> Harry, do. <dude. laughs> he died partying, Harry. Oh, it is. Is that. I think. Actually, my. It is definitely one of the best games ever made, I won't lie, honestly. It, it is definitely... Like, if you're looking for a unique concept for a start, look no further, you know? It is such a unique concept. The whole concept of every fragment of his psyche is its own character that can roll a dice win in order to win it way in on pretty much anything that happens. To the point where somebody could play the entire game and not have their tie talk to them because it never won the role that made made the tie start speaking to him. And somebody could have that happen in the first 10 seconds of, the, of it starting, you know? Like, that's one thing that I thought was crazy. Like, the first time I played it, the tie talked to me and I didn't tell it to shut up. And then my guy became insane and started talking. I just started talking to all the inanimate objects because my first time playing the game, I just wanted to try everything. And so, like, he's talked to the post box. He talked to his shoes. Uh, the dead body had a full conversation with him. And yeah, then, yeah. like, when it came to the bit when, like, um, we had to, like, identify, you know, not identify the body, but do, like, the, the field autopsy. And, uh, Kim is like, okay, so what do we think cause of death is? My guy was like, Disco killed him. And he was like, what? And I was like, nothing. Because <laughs> obviously the guy went, Disco killed me, baby. <laughs> yeah, I think it's very, very smart as well. Like, even when you start and as the little voices, Limbix is... But it's just so smart. It's unapologetically smart. Like, it doesn't tutorialize. No, it, it, you're just as clueless as your amnesiac character is. That's what I love about it. You learn as much about your environment as your character does, because you are him. You know, you are... He is experiencing the game via you, you know? And you're... 
you know, you get in there and you're like, I'm a cop. And she's like, yeah, you're a cop. And you're like, oh, because it's like, you, you really don't actually know that at the beginning. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, on replaying it, I was like, I f you know, I left the room and I forgot. Oh, I didn't even know, like, yes, the, the bartender. You owe me 20 royales. You threw the stuffed bird to the floor and said, Disco Inferno. <laughs> But even, like, his plotline, like, he is such a non-character, that guy. He's just a twat who stands behind the bar and is really judgmental. But, like, you find out that, like, the main reason he's that torn up is because he thinks What's-Her-Name quit because he hit on her. And then you can go down a whole plotline where you're just like, oh, yeah, actually, you... she didn't leave because of you. She left because I fucking went crazy drunk, put a gun in Harry, my mouth yeah. and all this stuff. And it's so good. It's just so fucking clever. Although one thing I noticed is it's like all of us call him Harry Dubois and if you go online and find pictures of him he's like Harry Dubois. Anyone who's playing the game for the first time that's a spoiler. <laughs> yeah, it because is. Because you don't you don't you can like the first time I played the game I probably didn't find out his name for like a good 8 hours. You can like make up your name as well. I I was playing it again. Just tell Yeah. Thingy. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Or yeah. you can just or you can just say I am the law to everything. So if anyone says what's your name, you go I am the law, and then there's actually a counter in the game stats for how many times you told people you are the law, <laughs> which I just love. It's it's crazy because I played it most twice, two full, third or fourth time, and. It really is like a lot of games say you can just play however you want. It really is. However, you... yeah, um, the only thing that's constructed is like the overarching, you know, scenario. It's, it's, it's set in stone, you know, like everyone else in the world. Be <laughs> clever how your skills actually affect how you. Mm hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I mean, some games have sort of, like, tried to do that. I remember, like, Vampire and Masquerade Bloodlines, like, if your investigation was high, you would see things that weren't there before. Like, you'd be able to see things that weren't there, like, um, hidden in the world. Um, it is, it is similar to that, in essence. There's an 80% chance that this dialogue option succeeds. Oh man, I really just want to do that. Because I gained one population, but then... Yeah! I'm not going to risk it, because you lose one fucking affinity with that magic type if you fuck it up. You put a hero, or your ruler, on a space, and then click your ruler so you're selecting. Click him again, and it'll select the tile underneath them, and then it'll say Make Outfist. Bear in mind that if you put it too close to another person, it will give you a warning and say, like, you're about to encroach on their province, and they'll get busy with you. You what? So you... Yeah, and then click him again, because it'll select the tile that's underneath him. And then when it selects the tile underneath them, you should see Make Outpost or whatever it is at the bottom. Annex again, Christ. Fucking Annex in real quick. <laughs> uh, do I need more mana or do I need more gold is the real question. Do with gold. You can rush production on stuff and pay people off. 
there are also some enchantments that you can cast that don't just have a mana upkeep. They also will have a gold upkeep, depending on what they are sometimes. So you can read what the upkeep is, obviously, on it. And obviously the upkeep of your units. So every unit you have costs you gold and upkeep. So you, that's why you need gold, mostly. Uh, I'm going to build a research post. I haven't built one of those yet. Just realized. Caught lacking. Game froze. Um, a, a, a pro tip, by the way, when you're on the arcane research screen, you know when you have to choose one of the three things to start researching? Um, you'll see there's a little padlock in the corner of each of them. You can only do it on one, but if you mouse over that padlock, it'll tell you how much it costs to lock that skill. What that does is that means that you can select a different one, and it guarantees that on the next cycle, that one will be there again. So you're locking it so it's on the next shuffle. So, that you so, can keep so it. if there's two, th yeah, so if there's two things that you want, lock one of them, get one of them, on the next cycle, you'll be able to get the other one. I only um I only actually tried that out the other day when I and I was like oh, shit I didn't know I could do that. Blew my own mind. Too much forest around my area, so I can't actually bring in. Yeah, I in combat. Get dead, plant demon. We'll have none of that nature around here with your squirtle ass bulbasaur looking at us. Right, you based your entire race off of baby bells. I now know. Acquiring more cities than your maximum will result These profane in invaders must be culled. Okay. <laughs> Got like a this storm spirit, and he runs like. Um, is it a is it a tier one storm spirit? When it's been a, when it's ranked up enough, it'll transform into a tier three storm spirit thing. Yeah, they grow. Um, elementals and animals that are tier one will eventually grow to be level like level three. They'll just ramp up to, to like they like evolve. Time. I don't know if it's time based or it's like rank based or both. Why are those plants so strong? What the heck? Here, what to heck? You can recruit a new hero. Your hero cap increases with each city you earn. Local heroes originate from your own realm. Once you have... I like how the game temperature has now calmed down, but I bet you as soon as I launch OBS it goes... <laughs> again. I just want to know why it's doing that. You're probably right though, it's probably something in the BIOS. But the weird thing is, it doesn't happen every time. If I reboot my computer, it probably will stop doing it. Yeah. 
I think something hooks in the firmware. It depends if... Uh... I need to upgrade anyway. Like, I could do with a different case, because this case actually sucks. It doesn't have enough front ventilation and the glass on the side, because one side is glass. It just get, it just sucks up all the heat, and then the glass is red hot. And then the end result is that the air in the case can only ever be hot because the glass is literally radiating heat in there. And that then that's when I kind of realized, hang on a minute, glass cases suck dick. Like, they suck. Why did they ever get invented? Like, I get it, you can see in there, but why does it have to be glass, man? Make it plexi or something. Because that doesn't, you know, something that doesn't absorb so much heat. They never used to remember, like, ten years ago... because it's like fancy RGBC inside your PC but it's yeah exactly it's a good conductor heat which you don't want um, which is annoying yeah I want to get something that ventilates way better the only issue is when I bought this computer I bought it pre-built because I wanted to save some time and money because it was going to cost me too much money to buy the parts individually at the time based on graphics card costs and CPU costs and um it was during that time where you just couldn't buy a fucking TI if you tried. There was just none available. Because um, NVIDIA was obviously selling out to all the scalpers and not admitting it. But, uh, yeah. I would definitely like to um, upgrade the case. But when I bought it pre-built, it's got perfect cable management in it. Yeah. It's completely perfectly cable managed, and so like the thing is, I know that I don't have the patience to completely cable manage that if I get a new case. But I don't know. Maybe I can actually try. I could probably I'd be able to get you a discount actually. Be part a lot of um, people through. Nice. I only need a graphics card and case, but yeah. Could... Oh, okay. I thought you were gonna go for a whole. Oh no no the the rest of it's fine the CPU is future proof the the mat I got like what thirty two gigs of RAM in here I just need a um I just need a I just need to upgrade to an RTX card and um get a better case for just better ventilation because this one is shite for ventilation absolutely shite sorry I'm just leveling up a uh, hero which is taking a second to choose the skill. I just met Jared. Oh, I haven't I haven't encountered Jared yet. It's that fucking Jared guy. I told it oh, not, no, to not use, again. I told it not to use the custom ones, but it still does it. They need to patch that. I literally unticked custom rulers. So unless there is another Jared the Nebulous in the game made by the computer and I just never knew. That also happens to look like a frogman and has frog people. An infestation is sending forces to attack you. Why? I didn't do nothing. I think this is... Going into an ancient wonder. <laughs> Low-level army, I don't think... Ow. <laughs> do, I, do I risk having everyone die? I... Are you in a wonder, do you say? Just back out. Just back out and come back when you're stronger. You now know the power level of that wonder and the army in it, right? So you just need to get your army to supersede that power level and you'll be fine when you come back. I don't think the wonders change in there. Collapsing part of the tunnel. Level. It was a success. Damage the spiders. Oh, I'm going to risk it. I won... Nice. Nicely done. Oh, I found a I found a guy who'd been oh, you know, cocooned by a spider.
save him. He didn't do nothing. Wow, I got a population for saving him. Dude, he was a virulent male. <laughs> he came out of there. He's just impregnating all the people in your city. He's like, I've been cocooned too long. <laughs> <laughs> now you're going to get cocooned. <laughs> Where is the nearest heaven? <laughs> With all of you Where ugly wenches. the fuck are the white women at? Race doesn't have white women. Oh, fair. Fair. I assumed that was on me. I made an ass out of me. The end. Oh, if I strip him of his belongings, because he's from a nearby city, they'll be really displeased with me. Why <laughs> just send him back naked? I could capture him. And disoriented after he impregnated a load <laughs> of your citizens. He comes back naked and just completely Naked and afraid. Like... Balls empty. <laughs> Damn. They said... <laughs> They saved me, sent me to their nearest brothel, stripped me of all of my stuff after I impregnated three women, and just sent me home again. <laughs> the, weird, the weirdest faction. There's so many enemies on this map, did you crank it up? No. I literally set it to overgrown realm so that it would have lots of forest. And that was it. The rest, it just it, it just decided to put infestations everywhere. I think it's because it's the um, which map type? I think I chose divide. So there's a river down the middle, and so I'm wondering if that means that it's just a very compacted space. I don't know. I can smell. I can smell cornflakes. Why can I smell It's not like, um, you know, um, you know when you, like, leave the milk in the cornflakes for a while, and they go, like, soggy, and you get that, like, soggy cornflakes smell. I just smell that right now. Pez has been fucked in there. Yeah, hang on a sec. Let me go near the door and see if I smell it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Maybe something's baking. Maybe something's cooking. Maybe that's just the aftermath of dinner and cooking. Maybe my neighbors are cooking something. Maybe that's what the bonfire was. They were getting it ready to make a giant cake on top of a massive bonfire. Cake on. Literally the plot of Dark Souls. Yeah. Make a cake. No, but um, Guinevere had all that cake. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> cake, cake, and they cake, had to, cake. You know, light the flame. Why somebody the other somebody has oh, no, left right. a soapstone. It just says cake, cake. <laughs> it says amazing chest ahead, but there's no treasure here. I don't get it, guys. I don't get it. <laughs> I'm going on. I'm going on the Dark Souls Reddit. Everyone keeps recommending the R oh, Woosh subreddit. What does that mean, guys? It says Woosh. It's all about jokes that go over people's heads, but I don't think I'm missing a joke here, guys. And that Sounds is like you just came out. The average Reddit. <laughs> I was watching a stream a while back, and I was like, it's one of the only streams where I tend to engage in the chat. And um, somebody uh, donated and said something about they were on, they posted something on Reddit and blah, blah, blah. And I literally just wrote in the chat, imagine admitting out loud that you're a Redditor. And then and the streamer and everyone just jumped on them and was like, yeah, hang on, why would you admit you're a Redditor? <laughs> And I was just like, lots of people go on Reddit, but you never call yourself a redditor if you want to be respected. You just you just keep that to yourself, you know. Reddit's got very strange over like, you know, I've used Reddit over ten years, and like at the beginning it used to be quite normal. <laughs> like there were there weren't all the crazy stuff. There is literally a subreddit for everything now. Yeah, to the point where like. <laughs> And the weirdest thing is, like, subreddits crop up and disappear over the course of months as well. So, like, in the course of a year, there could be a bunch of subreddits about things that are really fucked up, but they get shut down. And that's what, because there was that one, wasn't there? Like, watch people die. Um, yeah. and that rightfully, that that rightfully got shut down eventually, because that really shouldn't be on there. But like, um, you know, it, for a while, it was on there for a really long time, like months and if not years. That that subreddit was there. Artifice.
think is the ultimate expression. Will I gain more resources? Oh god, I feel crap. Yeah, put from them. Translate something as intangible as an idea into a working walking automaton. PSA, don't forget to scroll down your um structure list and look at the special improvements. Oh, Redditor, you just said PSA. I'm not. I'm not. Don't make fun of me. What am I supposed to do? Scroll down. Under structures, on your, you know, when you go to under production, like you're going to build a structure in your city. Scroll down to the bottom, and you'll see special improvements, and they have a little symbol, and there'll be like a farm one, maybe, or like a research post. Hold on, hold on. Start again. Click your city. Hold on. Click the structures bit, so you're going to build a structure. Scroll to the bottom. Yeah. There's a bit called special improvement. You might have special province improvements. Yeah, you yeah. Might, you might, you might not. Some of those will like replace a farm or replace a research post. And if you select it and mouse over something to reply like a farm to replace a farm with a special improvement farm, it might actually give you double the resources and no st instability, like 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 minus stability. I have because to that replaces it. Yeah, you so let's say it's a farm special province improvement. Just put it over the top of a farm you've already got. And as you're mousing over it at the bottom of the screen, it'll tell you what bonus resources you get from doing that or if it's not even worth it because it'll say what it has now what you'll get so like i just had a farm but when i replaced it with the special improvement farm it gave me literally double the amount of food and no city instability for being near the capital and then my fans went into massive overdrive but yeah it's worth it's worth checking those occasionally because um they are very happy I always forget they're there, and then I scroll down, and I'm like, oh shit, I can build special improvements. Rivalry. That was... Yeah, I've encountered that where they, um, I once had a, that game I played where I was actually the underground race, um, I had this nearby leader who kept on declaring friendship and then, like, you know, doing that thing where you, like, announce to the realm that you're friends with this person, and then three turns later, um, declared a rivalry and then war. And then I kicked his ass, and then he declared a truce, and then declared me a friend, and then three turns later declared war again, and he just kept doing that the whole game. Like, he was some kind of weirdly bipolar character. Don't worry, but... It, it should say why he declared the rivalry, like, why he doesn't like you, underneath the, the explanation, usually. I'm about to get attacked by what looks like a giant eagle surrounded by plants. I might be in trouble. Kez just messaged me saying that she was making granola bars, that's why I could smell cereal. Cancel the ambulance. You, you still have three hours to cancel though, because it takes that long to get an ambulance now in Britain, so... I still can't get over that. Like, there have been people having heart attacks and they've been forced to wait that I've, long. I have them. become, like... I have got... I actually would rather live in America and pay for my ambulance because at the moment I'm actually paying so much money out of my national insurance and I can't even use the doctor. Yeah, but that's because the government is squandering it on their oh, own. Of course, shit, not but actually. But then, you know, I'm li then it means that we're beholden. I still would prefer to live in this country where if I do get hit by a car or I fall down the stairs. I will actually not be destitute afterwards. Well, it might just be dead because it take forever to get yourself. Would you rather be dead or one hundred and fifty dollars, one hundred and fifty thousand dollars in debt? Right? Like, I would rather be dead. I'd rather just. I'd rather. At a rate. Right? <laughs> yeah, that would be good. Yeah. That, that would be good. Like a, a no. like Canada, maybe like where it's like halfway between the two. That would fucking work. That's one thing that I actually do find wild. Like, in a country where right now, like, not like here, but in America, 
you've got people getting shot just because they rang the wrong doorbell. And for some fucking reason, like, if you're in a country where you, the, the stakes are now reached the point where you could get shot for nothing, like, it'll just happen because somebody happened to have a gun in your vicinity and they were crazy. You might not die from that gunshot, but you'll sure wish that you had, basically. Because you'll never be able to afford the bills of, of having been rescued, you know what I mean? All because somebody else shot you because they're crazy. Because of the other person, wasn't there? You like backed into a driveway and the guy shot him? Because they backed into the driveway? It's like, my guy, that happens here all the time. <laughs> like, people back into your driveway sometimes to get out to another place. Like, they shouldn't, but they do. Like, the end. Um, right. Uh, let's do they level up no, they didn't. It's quite weird that in um in multiplayer mode you can't rename and change the appearance of your heroes. Whereas in single player, you can change it on the fly, so you could completely alter what the hero you just unlocked looks like and is like. But you can't do that in multiplayer. I guess it makes sense because it's a sense save to the other person, I don't know, but... I don't know. Um, I really don't know what to do about all these infestations around me, they're really causing issues. Getting like, so many level ups and everything. Nice. Get learnt. Infestation um... is sending invading force. Oh, yeah, it's happening to you now. <laughs> I wonder what happened to. He didn't make it. Will that give me more knowledge? It will. I'll build that. 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 I'm. Did he? Li did that ruler literally just say "live long and prosper"? I think he did. That's two bannermen. We don't need two bannermen. That's all right. Opponents are grooving. <laughs> I will look for your brother. What? Where is this guy? He's surrounded by snakes. I can't help him. Your, your brother's gone. He's as good as dead. I can't help him. My, my race seems to have some kind of aversion to snakes for no good reason. Fine. I, I've, I've now, like, the borders have expanded now. Where I am very... By, like, basic things on the map. I'm like, that wasn't there. One, one thing that I've noticed is that when something is out of your, like, view, like it's in the fog of war, and you leave it there and then come back to it, it can change massively. Like, I think the AI doesn't follow any kind of time constraint rules when you can't see it. I think it just does whatever it wants. So, in the fog of war, I think time passes differently. It just, it just, yeah, I don't know. Because I had an army coming towards me that had four, uh, two units in it, and then the minute it moved into view, it had five. Now I don't know if that's because some of the units in it were invisible until they got close enough or something, or it just it just changed as it got closer. I've got it's uh I've got less than I do. 
See, I've only ever, I've only found one other ruler. Have you found anyone else? The one guy. The. the... He insulted you. He is. Don't die. I know it's a giant snake. You died. You. I always lose one pikeman. If if there's a snake in the enemy army of any kind, maybe pikes are weak against snake characters. Teach me about precious stones. You will gain this much knowledge. Okay, I'll take the uh, I'll take the production. Thank you very much. One of the options was the fact that you're safe is more than enough for me, and I'm thinking, now nah, that ain't me, Chief. I need the fucking moolah. Give me that. That gives me way more knowledge, yeah. Hero leveled up. I highly recommend um, getting the endurance training support skill when you're leveling up your hero once it comes up. I think you don't get it straight away. But um, when you when you get it, it's definitely worth it because it gives everyone in the army like plus ten health. Get lost, more of a god. More like Marauder, idiot. Got him. Right, did that enchantment do me any good? Not for the fuck's sake. Starting to ramp up into uh, mad territory. Yeah, I, these infestations are insane. Like, I didn't expect this many infestations. Like, it's it's crazy. It must be this type of map. Just it's just full of them. What the walls or like they they sieged you? Then they're gonna take the city. But I have people in the city. Then they'll then there'll be a combat and it'll be your power versus their power, plus whatever defenses you've built in the city. So if you built battlements, they'll they'll also get added to the combat. If you need to do like the actual XCOM combat in the hopes of winning, then we can we can do that. We don't. That's not really a problem. What? 
I've just met Fricka Dinosis. Still not found the other player. <laughs> Hundred and five production. That's kind of useless. Why the hell would I build one of those? <laughs> You've got time to head back there, like it's not an instantaneous. Yeah, I don't. I'm not gonna be kidding. Oh, well, were you, did you not leave anyone, like, near your... Oh, my God, the same thing is happening to me now. Fucking hell. are just coming from... There's a lot... I'm getting... Oh, no. Yeah, I've got... Oh, I've got an infestation headed to my... I mean, to be fair, is it is it an infestation marauder thing? I think so, but I haven't even found the infest. Okay, so they'll... They won't assault your main city, I don't think. They'll just spread out and start damaging your province improvements, and they can be repaired when they've left. So you've got time to get there, they'll just sit on each of the tiles and keep attacking them. Wait, the Marauders are? Yeah, I'm just getting... I have never seen that. That's terrifying, I didn't know they could do that. Yeah, I didn't know that they, um, the Marauders besieged. Maybe they... Oh, maybe they, they, they have a hero in their army. They must have, like, a Marauder hero, because you can only do that if you have a hero. Yeah, if you select their army, you should be able to see the leader's probably a hero, for fuck's sake. I didn't even think that was possible. Oh my god, I've actually got loads in my... I didn't even see them. We got a, we got a problem. This is a very infested map. <laughs> Gonna have to build fortifications. Man, there are infestations everywhere. That's crazy. Get out of my sea! Oh my god, they're like splitting their like their units out across everything. Oh my god, they're everywhere. There's like six of them. Not good. Not good at all.
Just yeah, keep I am not going to expand any more cities until I've dealt with all these infestations around me, because they are just going to keep, keep attacking. Four turns before I can actually save my shit from getting destroyed. Jared the Nebulous died, someone killed him. Uh, if your ruler dies, they'll come back after like two or three turns. You just can't cast any spells while you're there, and I think it halts your research temporarily while they're dead. Um, the only time that you'll like die, die, and get removed from the game is if your ruler is in the void because they died, and your throne world, like your throne city, gets killed. Oh, wow, I've got a risky battle. I'm trying. Is it a really big in- oh, fuck. why are the infestations so strong? I didn't even put the AI on hard or anything. If it fucks up, just click retry and do it XCOM style if you want. I mean, it'll be your first time doing it. Nice. Oh, you think you might be on the, like, south or whatever the continent is? I'm going to assume it's south, because I think I'm at the top of the map. Yeah, I think I'm as high as you can go on the map. I can go l left really far. And I can go right really far. So I think you might be south. I'm, I'm building a couple more scouts to send out, because I'm, I'm hoping that will help to just discover more of the friggin' map. Yeah, they heal quicker in friendly territory usually, I think. Per turn. They are literally just trolling over all of my improvements down the south of my city. I've got one unit on my forester, one on my research post, one on another thing, one on another thing. They've just, the army moved in and just spread out all of its units across all of my stuff and they're just sitting on it. I've never had this many infestations before. There's an infestation near me that has a friggin' bone dragon in it, which is a tier 4 mythic. Like, I wouldn't be able to clear that if I tried. Wait, would I? 603 power. 534 plus 609, maybe? If I put those two armies together? Uh oh. Are you stacking up two armies together, right? Or are you just having one army? And but... Yeah. I'm trying to keep two next to each other to just, like, babysit each other constantly, because it seems to... Oh god, what the fuck is this thing? <laughs> Gain 33 stability for six turns, but lose one population. Mm. Or I can gain a knight and lose some Imperium. I think I might do that because I don't want to lose any. Thingies. Population. Yeah. 
in tone. I pick the Necronomicon. <laughs> Demons everywhere. Ready. Cast. Did that make my power army any more powerful? It did. It added 20 power level to the army. Wow. Oh, what a, what a fantastic choice I made. Have to start building a little army here. <laughs> and this, they're killing my scout because my scout decided to run right next to them. What a moron! I literally just made that scout and he went and sat next to the marauders and got eaten immediately. And then more marauders moved in and it's a five stack of pigs. This is not kosher. This is haram. As well. As the other thing I said. Break them away, toys. What you say, chief? Eh, yeah, just do what the kid said. This is scuffed. How do I annex? For a quick. This fire fawn. So either expand your territory over it through the normal means. When you choose the next tile, you choose that province if it's nearby. If not, put an outpost on top of it and it'll count and you'll complete the quest. I just met Tilios Lightbringer. <gasps> Tilios! We got a problem about Tilios Lightbringer. Oh, <laughs> uh, I just I just realized he's what I made. But I made him using a mod. Oh no, he's got like insane shit. Oh, he's not meant to even be in the game because he's game breaking. What? Why? When I like, they need to patch this. I literally unticked use custom rulers, and it used my custom rulers. Why? Why did you do that? I literally unticked it. See, I okay. So I've just met Tilios. So I, my game just crashed. Yeah. I'm willing to wager it's because that motherfucker shouldn't be in the game. Just, um, just wait, maybe, and when I rejoin, that might fix it. Because I think, I don't think it uses, like, peer-to-peer -peer hosting, because you do turns, right? So I think if I join, it might desync us and cause us to reload the game, but other than that, it should be okay. If I crash immediately after getting in, then the game is fucked. It's, it's scuffed. Um, but it might be okay. It didn't even remember the name of the realm. It's just called Custom Realm. They need to fucking patch this, because that's not normal. It doesn't remember your setting about Custom Rulers, and it doesn't remember the name of the realm. That's scuffed. Yeah, I just laid it back in. It's because I made a friggin' negotiation with... Um, Game is out of sync. 
Yeah, I thought that was the case because my scout just died again. <laughs> that would be fucking irritating for sure. Hey, sir. Oh, he's dead. I tried to negotiate something with the... What's-his-face, the Nebulous, and um, it was greyed out, and then when I moused over, it said, you can't do it while they're in the void, and I looked to the right, and he's a ghost. <laughs> he's literally just a ghost floating there. When you negotiate with someone who's dead, they're just a ghost. How did I meet Tilios? If I'm nowhere near... He could have run into my. He could have run a, a scout past me. That is true. Or he could have just desynced when me having discovered him. But yeah, he's still visible on my map. Out of sync detected. Out of sync detected. Are you in the middle of doing something? Okay, good. Right, so it is, it is normal then. Good question. Good question. And a philosophical one. We like those. It keeps just saying it out of sync on the left side of my screen. Uh, yeah, I, I've I've seen um, from people streaming this that sometimes um, it will detect it's out of sync, and then it just offers everyone to reload, and then it usually goes back to normal. Apparently, the worst desyncing happens if you keep on doing the XCOM combat over and over again. But I don't know how true that is, or if that's based on the number of players or what. But... Ah, go then. I like how I'm not even doing anything, but it just keeps on spamming out of sync in the corner of my screen. Done? Everything tucked? The plant demons are eating my fucking stuff. Stop it! Infestation is sending invading forces, don't. I've oh got to reload God. it reload. because wait, oh, stop. But, but I stop. have to reload now. We both do, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Which which is good because we want that, right? Because before it just said you left. Are you back? <laughs> I'm not gonna click anything until you. All right, I'm back. Okay. I won't click anything. Is this guy poor? He offered me an allegiance, but only if I pay him. Shall I move? 
Yeah, yeah, you can move, you can move. I loaded in before you. I think it. I think um, the reason it wasn't in sync again is because when you reloaded, I didn't. It just says desync detected again. I would not be shocked if it's being caused by Tilios Lightbringer being in the game. I'm gonna have to find a way to delete him, I think, if this continues. Well, no, I. there's no mods. I don't have any mods, because you can't play with mods if the other person isn't. But the thing is, that's a guy I created ages ago using mods, and he, he shouldn't be here. He shouldn't be here at all. Messing up my stuff, go away, plant demons, no one likes you. Right, I've been in my tent, I'm gonna be right back a sec, because uh, my legs are cold, so I'm gonna change out my shorts. Hello. Sorry about that. Oh, I got engaged in combat while uh, I was AFK. That's good. Good thing that's not on a timer, otherwise my army probably would have died. Andy. <laughs> the bug demons, or plant demons, are just stood there. Did... What just happened? Oh, it wasn't actually my turn. Okay. 
message received. Oh my god, it just crashed again. Yeah, okay, right, great, we're fucked. We can't interact with Tilios Lightbringer without the game crashing. Out of six. It's gonna be because of him. Fuck, it's because of fucking Tilios. Shit, me. Are we gonna have to fucking. Hang on, can I. Age of Wonders for delete. Um, what's it called? Delete. Ruler? Permanently deleting a faction. You're not gonna be in me. Um, looks like Age of Wonders 4. No custom ruler. It still keeps on using. Creating custom rules saying. Hmm. Yeah, okay, let me relaunch it. It's 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 literally the second that Tilios Lightbringer spoke to me game crashed. Yeah, but like, you've not crashed, right? I think I think I crash, it desyncs you. And the the I only crashed because Tilios spoke to me, and I crashed when he spoke to me earlier is the problem. I can't delete him from the game. Now I'm... Yeah, yeah, for sure. You might find out. It... I, I might, I might have to like fucking like download a save editor or something in order to like remove him, remove him. Um. But what, what kind of irks me is I literally, in order to try and prevent situations like this, I unticked the option of using custom AI rulers so that the A, and it literally says in the rule, the AI will not use your custom rulers to, you know, fill the AI slots. And yet it did, anyway. And that's, that's the thing that really annoys me, because it, like, why have that option there if it doesn't do anything? Like, patch your fucking game, please, Paradox. You had one fucking job to do. You in the game? Yeah, it's because I just joined back in, so it'll have to resync us together again. I'm not going to interact with the message he sent me. I'm just going to leave it alone. Waiting for combat, by. Uh, I had to re-resolve the combat I just concluded that a minute ago that had happened. Potentially. Yeah, now says waiting for player to soon. Yeah, there you go. Then, so that that might be okay then. Very cursed though that this this is happening. And I've got invaders north of me now. It looks like in the desync. They made made it all the way to my city, which would have been about four turns worth of travel. They immediately turned up here. Very, very frightening. Yeah, it should. When we end this turn, I think the next turn loads, it should resync us because I just ended my turn.
farm make happy? I think it's because it's to do with like the city like growing or like it because they can see it, I guess, like it's in the territory, I guess. I don't know. Rage of Wonders 3. Like, nobody has Googled this according to Google? Like, that doesn't make any sense. There we go. That's good. We were, we were waiting for that because we hadn't resynced since I crashed, so... Man, there's a thread I was just browsing on my phone about, like, deleting custom rulers, and it seems to be very fucking convoluted. They are of silk, but do any. Click it again, and it, the, ex, the explore thing might reappear. Friendship with you was declared. I am not looking at that in case it's from what's his face. Stood on my stuff up there as well. This is really friggin' to do that. Uh, that's about 365. It, it is mind blowing how many fucking infestations we're dealing with right now. God, there's three armies of five here. What? my Imperium in friggin' what, please? Oh my god, more, more... Some evil eagles are just flying left and right in my territory. Yes. I've never witnessed the AI do that. Eagle. Oh my god, level where did they come from? A level five army of penguins just suddenly rolled up. <laughs> oh my freaking goodness. Like what what the absolute Tilios Lightbringer has built a seat of order. Not good. He shouldn't be able to do that yet. You could also forget. I think this run is cursed. Oh my god, it's cursed.
It's actually cursed. Does you let? It says that when when you reload as well. I think it like leaves you and rejoins you to resync it. Yeah, though. Yeah, next Never time did. I'm. I think yeah, I, I, the game doesn't seem to listen to that setting, which I'm gonna check the forums, I guess. This is something that kind of irks me as well, because, like, during testing the game, this would have come up instantly. Because we're not the only people that have had this issue. Like, I've watched about four different streams of different streamers playing this game online with their friends. And they've all had that exact same A, the desync issue, and B, it using custom rulers when it's been told not to. And the thing that's really fucking annoying is, is like, if that happens, like all the time, like every time, surely you saw that in testing before the game was released. So either it shouldn't have been released in that state or you should have patched it. I don't know. Maybe I'm being harsh. I definitely, yeah, a lot. It's, it's almost like a lot of games just aren't being tested. Like no one is testing them. Because if that thing happens instantaneously, you didn't test it. Otherwise you would have seen it instantly. And you wouldn't have put it in there. On the left hand side, yeah. Stay out of my territory, birds. this as well while I'm at it. Really? The highest ranking unit in that army died for no good reason. Age of Wonders for... I don't- when do the weird bandit enemy stop? Like, every time I expand into a new area, there's woods of Yeah, it's just never-ending until you kill- we- you have to kill the infestation nest. I do, but then- uh, This is only happening because of Tilios, it has to be. Because it doesn't make sense that he has the traits that he has, but he shouldn't exist. There has to be a way for me to delete him from the fucking save. DLC. Yeah. You have to buy DLC to play it. Uh, what is that? Why is that so strong? Wait, is that another invading force, though? And most of my army almost died from that. Fucking hell.
High above the petty machinations. It's only since Tilios showed up and started talking to me that it happened, and I think I know what happened. Tilios in your save doesn't have the out of sync traits on him, but in mine he does because he was a mod modded character, and so he's just absolutely gefugel schnitzeled everything. I found one of those threads that um, is an article that claims to have the fix for it, and it's actually just a load of bollocks. I love finding those because they just—they're just everywhere. I mean, I've not seen desync issues this bad, so it's got to be because of him. Yeah, there's literally everyone is saying this if you Google it. It's just everyone saying that they get weird shit going on. Um... <laughs> I think this this might be a cursed run. Oh my fucking god. As soon as I entered battle. This is embarrassing. I've got a quest now that no one gave me. I now suddenly have a quest called Obtain Arcanium Ore. And I, I never got given that quest. I just now have it. Jesus, criminy, criminy. Brilliant. Is that a horned god by any chance? Because he will fuck you up. I lead it. Oh, for real? Yeah, this is it. Oh, one of them. I can't cast the spell. Got desync. <laughs> it needs a functioning game when you can just release it and hope that no one complains. I think we should just be cool. Done. Yeah, I think, I think, I think this 